Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And real quick, I want to talk about having bridge jobs and why they're important and they can help you as long as you have the right perspective. For those of you that aren't familiar, a bridge job is a job that you use to get you from where you are now to the place that you want to be, which is normally your dream job. Um, and what the bridge job does is it, 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 it can act in several different ways, but one, it provides you the financial stability that you need in order to continue living. Um, and two, sometimes the bridge job can provide you with um, new skills that you learn or possibly new contacts that you come in, in, um, in contact with. Um, during during your time working at the bridge shop but um for s when so in order to understand the purpose of the bridge job um or not in order to understand it but in order for it to be effective in order for a, a bridge job to be effective you have to understand its purpose which is to get you from point a to point b too many times people get stuck in the bridge job and they they end up never getting out of it and that that is the biggest danger of a bridge job is getting so comfortable in it that um, that you end up giving up on your bigger dreams and aspirations and that's only going to lead you into a world of disappointment and regret unfortunately so um so, for example, I know a lot of people who joined the military. Um, I wasn't one of these people. I actually, when I was younger, I joined the military and I wanted to stay in for a long time. But a lot of people join the military thinking it will be their bridge job because there's so many benefits. They get to travel the world, they get education, and um, you know they get paid. And so there are so many benefits with that. They go in there saying I'm gonna learn my skill set I'm gonna get um, a job experience and I'm going to get educational experience and then after four or six years I'm going to transition out and and make my way into the world and that's actually a really good plan unfortunately once they get into the the military and I'm just using this as an example they get sucked in they get sucked into the culture they get they get a little fat and, and and happy, right? They get a little lazy because they're like, oh, I'm being treated so well. And they kind of lose sight of what their bigger goals and aspirations were. And um and then before they know it, they've re-enlisted several times, they've been in the military for twenty years and still have not gotten any further to what their dreams and goals are, except now they're far older and they've become more dependent on this machine that constantly feeds them and they have to relearn how to acclimate into the real world and become independent again and and to start focusing on their dreams again so um so there are huge benefits to bridge jobs though if you go in with the right perspective the key is just knowing that this is a means to an end and making it very clear to everybody because when you put it out there in the public like this is not meant to be a final stop this is just one step along the way then people will respect that and especially if you if your actions reflect that then people will understand it's when you you know are like well I'm just going to get this waitress job to hold me over for the next few weeks or the next few months while I find something better and then you find yourself three years later still in that waitressing job um, it's time to kind of evaluate whether or not that's the appropriate thing to do the other thing that I failed to mention uh, about bridge jobs that are really beneficial is that a lot of times people will take on part-time bridge jobs or jobs that just they don't require the as much um, as many hours in the day and so it frees up your time to work on things that um, you're passionate about and that your your dreams and aspirations 
are going towards. Um, the key, again, is that whatever your bridge job is, whether it's a full-time job or a part-time job, mowing lawns or working in uh, a secure building, when you get off of that job, you still have your other job to go to. And that other job is working towards your goals every day, getting yourself closer and closer to whatever dream job or project or aspiration it is that you have. If you're doing that, then you're using you're, you're using your bridge job correctly. And uh, so in closing, I'll say, you know, look at where you are now. Is that where you want to be for the rest of your life? If not, don't worry about it. That's good news. Now you've identified something that needs more research and, and thought and introspection. But the other thing is, also don't fret about the job that you're in now. If, if it's not where you want to be and you still have, you, you, there's somewhere else you want to go, identify ways that you can use that job to develop skills and cultivate abilities that you can use later on and then also how can you work in your schedule whether it means a couple hours less of TV a couple hours less of sleep to start to come directly home from your bridge job and start working towards those big fat juicy goals that super inspire you and make you wake up every day feeling energized and pumped because that is what's going to get you through every day um, feeling you know on top of the world because even while you're in your bridge job you'll know that you're working for a greater goal your mindset will be changed and therefore you will be transformed from within and then your outer actions and your outer feelings will start to just explode with all of this um, energy and performance that you've never never even seen before so um, I hope this has been helpful and if you'd like to see more videos like this then please feel free to subscribe okay take it easy